everybody scorpion here so um all the water in my house is being changed out so i've got a bunch of pipes and stuff so i'm gonna let the camera run for a little while and give some information on how to split this copper between number one copper and number two copper uh, because of your solder joints and uh, brass and stuff like that so if you're interested in seeing that and getting some information stick around if not we'll see you next time Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Alright, tool you need for the job. That's it. I'm sure they have some type of name, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's not really written on here. It does say uh, 350 MCM, and it's not for steel. You can cut pipe all day long and wire with this. Not a problem. So, here's solder joint right here. So, you have to take those solder joints out. Because that's number two copper. Well, they don't make stuff like they used to, that's for sure. 80 year old pipe, and it doesn't want to cut it. Right. So, the solder joint's going to be number two. So, I'll set that aside. And then your clean pipe, about every foot and a half, two foot, I normally cut it. Just to get it down to size. Cause they don't like you coming in with really long pipe. So that's all you're doing. If it's just straight pipe, you're just cutting it down to size. Just like that. that stuff with, with joints in it. Let's get some of the stuff with joints. Again, you got solder joints. So that's not clean copper. So they're not going to give you the number one price for it. So you want to get kind of as close as you can without having the solder on there. Number one. And then your joint to number two. And the rest is number one. Your valves. So I'm gonna cut them both sides. This is brass. Then I'll have to cut the joint out, number two, number one. I'm probably not going to worry about splitting that. I'll just cut it off here and let that go for number two because it's not that much left. I'll have to get this joint out. So, and if you leave a little copper on the brass, it's not a big deal because there's copper in brass. And copper... It's also a higher price than brass, so. <coughs> I'll just throw that whole piece in there. Throw that whole thing in number two instead of cutting it. Just a little tiny piece anyway. So 
here's what you end up with. So this is your number two. You can see the solder around your joints. The silver stuff, that's solder. So that makes it number two. So that stuff goes in your number two copper. Number one copper is gonna be clean. I'm sure they'll probably try to deduct you if it's green, but I can clean that up real easy. So that's your number one copper. And then this is your brass, your fittings and stuff like that. So any questions or concerns, or if I got something wrong, be sure to tell me. Um, just drop it in the comments and we'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one. All right, so if you're still sticking around, it's your number two copper. Eh, pound and a half, maybe two pounds, something like that. So that's what, maybe six dollars? I don't know, I'm just throwing numbers out there. Here's your brass. This is going to be a different brass, it's white brass. And I got to take that out. I'll put drop that in over into number two. But I got to get my wrenches to do that. And then there's pipes cut down to size that I can throw in my number one barrel.